guys! I'm so excited today because I'm going to be sharing with you the purse I've been using. I have switched out of a mini backpack and into a satchel, which is exciting because I have been using a mini backpack for so many years. But my husband told me that if my purse starts hurting me, he would actually carry it. And usually I try to do like the mini pack pack if my boys carry it, make it a little more gender neutral. But now they said they'd carry my purse, so I jumped on the chance and my husband got me a really cute satchel for my birthday. prerequisites when it came to a purse. I needed to be able to be carried a few different ways, including a top handle and a crossbody. Those were like crossbody or on my shoulder. Those were like my two biggest ones because if one part of my body starts hurting, I'm able to do different. The chronic illness community, we always find uh, new ways to do things. So that was one of my prerequisites. Also, it couldn't be too big. So, oops. So you see, it's not that big because I didn't want to overstuff it. This fits exactly what I need. No less, no more. That's all. So let's go over what I have. First, I have a hand sanitizer. I got this at Bath and Body Works. I used to just keep everything in my purse, but having kids, I like them to have easy access. I have champagne toast. I love the way this smells. I love how accessible it is. And I really like just that it doesn't look... It looks sleek, you know, for hand sanitizer. Again, I always have my pulleys and it has a middle thing. So it has one pocket, two pockets, a middle pocket and a back pocket. I'm gonna start back here. It's like really tight. I have a pen. I always carry a pen with me, especially going to so many doctor's appointments. I don't like using their pens. I'd rather fill out my own. Oh, fill out my own, use my own pen. And then I have this little gadget. If you watch my last, what's my purse, a lot of things are the same, but some pouches have changed up. Um, but this has a light and it is a, not a pen, it's a poke. So like if you need to break the glass or use it as like a, a weapon. <laughs> and um, I love this. A present from my dad. It has this in the inside as well. And overall, I just keep it in my purse wherever I get, uh, wherever I go. Let me see if there's anything over here. Oh, and it does have a pen. <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> it's a handy dandy tool to have and I always carry it with me. I'm gonna go in to, here's the front. I'm gonna go right into that front pocket. I have my glasses, I can't see far, so I carry these. I have my sunglasses, same sunglasses as last what's in my purse. I stick to the things that I know work and comfort me. My favorite chamois for my glasses is Lacoste. Gum, this is for when I'm nauseous, last, like, this is my last resort because I have TMJ, but this is my favorite gum, it's the Trident White, and so I keep it just in case I do get nauseous, and then this is my favorite brand of lip balm, and favorite flavor, no, favorite, yeah, I guess flavor, um, is, I think it's a watermelon, watermelon free for rose, frosé, frosé? But EOS, I love it. Gluten free. Next, I'm gonna go through this back pocket. I have my little like, um, what would I call this? My COVID kit. I have some alcohol wipes or hand sanitizing wipes. My favorite mask and Listerine because I hate like if I Listerine strips. I hate if I eat. And then it, or drink like my matcha and then having my mask on oh no i can't do that i'm so sensitive to smells even my own smells that i have to have i know my tmi but i have to have it and i have this little case for it and i like it because it's slim but i could fill it up and then it doesn't expand at all so i can put it in my purse and i know whatever fits in here can fit in that part of my purse i'm gonna open up my middle part this is where i have like everything i have another antibacterial product and it is sanitizing hand lotion which is really nice it smells great and it kills two birds with one stone by sanitizing and moisturizing so i love this stuff it's by julep and i got it at nordstrom's next <laughs> is another hand sanitizing so i also have a spray from bath and body works um i love this smell pink peach blossom it's really good again i have kids it's easy to just spray their hands, spray the cart, whatever I'm using, I could spray the surface. If we sit somewhere, I can use this or I could use the wipes, but sometimes I just want to do it really fast. And so I'll use that. I have my little medication pill box that I take with me wherever I go. 
This is like my, where I put all my miscellaneous items so they're not floating around in my purse. It is by Marc Jacobs. It's cool because it has this little thing. Sometimes I just connect it. Sometimes I just connect it like this. If I wanted to, I could carry it, but it just stays in my purse. Like all my miscellaneous things. So I have um, floss, a little Sarah V lotion, a file, hair things, throw up bags and band-aids, my salon paw pain patches. I have to give this to somebody for their birthday. If they're watching, then you know. Um, a note that I have to give to my doctor for my pain clinic. I carry a little peppermint and lavender essential oil. Another throw up bag. The other essential oil. More hair thingies. Tweezers. Nail clippers. A little roll on Mary Kay perfume thing my vaccination cards, and then my little like credit card knife that was gifted to me again by my dad. Uh, let's see if I could do this quickly. Last time it took me a little bit, but you f so you go like this, you flip it, and you go like that and you have a little knife. Don't know where he got this, but all these little gadgets I keep with me. I found a case to put mine in because I didn't want it cutting any of my items. Next, I have my keys. My daughter wanted me to put these little keychains on there. I chose three because I have three kids and then donuts. I can't eat donuts, but I love donuts. So, and then again, from my dad. I have Panaway, which is an essential oil that I love. Put it on your skin and it really helps with uh, pain it's absolutely amazing it's from young living love it black black lip balm i like this because it has spf 25 so if i'm gonna be outside i put it on i get i, I am so sensitive to the sun tissues because man i always need these during winter and then lastly what i use as my wallet i really really love this little design it reminds me of like my boys being young it's so cute but i do i do this so if i want to just go and run around with just this i can but this has all that i need in it as well so in here i have my card case which is by ted baker I like getting wallets that are not black because I like to be able to find it easily in my purses. And a lot of times if I get a black wallet, it's so hard for me to find. So I love this. I have my insurance cards and my main doctor's information here. So if anything happens, it's all accessible. A little bit of cash. I have a sanitizing wipe in here. I have throat bags. I have a little Swiss Army knife thingy. It's really good because it has scissors on it so I can cut off tags easily. And then I have a little pill thingy. Look how pretty that is. It's blingy blingy. But this is, um, it carries like extra pills and stuff. So since I'm carrying this without my purse, this has all the pills that I might need in an emergency. And then I just have a hygiene item. And then that's all. That is all that's in my purse. <laughs> I love this purse because it is the perfect size. There's not too much. There's not too little. It is just perfect for me i haven't had any problems carrying it which is amazing because usually i do <laughs> so that has been a very very welcome surprise because i used to just love purses i forgot to show you guys the feet but and i love the color i i like black purses but i always tend to go to this nude natural kind of color i always love like really neutral colors hopefully this video came out okay Last week was really uh, difficult for me. I am so happy I got through it. I didn't think I would even get to record a video today. So the fact that I have, I am very thankful and I feel like I've accomplished something, which in the last two weeks, it's been actually very difficult for me. It feels amazing to have been able to record and meet my goal. I will be trying to get videos out every Friday 
even if I have a flare, if I do have a flare, I have learned to vlog it so I can share it with you guys because that is what this is about, right? Chronic illness. So that's all guys. I hope you guys have a good day and night. Take care. Remember to edit this, Lena. Today I'm gonna to be talking about or ow. I could hurt myself. Let's see if I can take a picture.